Hey guys, just here. I'm back with another uh, December Daily layout and we are doing story number 10 uh, tonight, um, which is the story of Christmas movies. Um, and this one's pretty quick. Well, I say it's quick. It's quick in the in the fact of putting it together. Uh, I did a little bit of work in Photoshop, as you can see, uh, creating one of the spreads um, of all the different movies and TV shows we like to watch for Christmas. Um, and then I also did, I created these tags. I actually created these tags in the Silhouette Design Studio. Um, and so a lot of, uh, this one's a definitely hybrid uh, scrapbooking, which I'm really, really enjoying in this December daily. I'm having a lot of fun um, doing the hybrid scrapbooking. So this is a result of that. Um, so really quick and easy. I did a six by eight spread um, layout here where um, I took all of the Christmas movies you know we we typically like to watch and put them on a 6x8 um, and just this fun little like diagonal format to give it a little interest um, and then I just created a tag that um, we, we you know that has our journaling on it essentially so I'll do a little bit of embellishing on both of these not a whole lot but it's pretty simple so we're gonna go ahead and get started so Christmas movies I mean this is one that so I'm not uh, we're not you know I'm not a Hallmark movie fan Nobody in my family, you know, immediate family is. So our, our Christmas movies are pretty traditional and they don't change much from year to year unless a new movie comes out. <laughs> um, we're kind of, you know, we, we like what we like and a lot of the classics really. We're not um, very original in a lot of our movie watching. Um, Joseph, Natalie, and I, you know, we like all the, all the, traditional or the or the classic holiday movies Home Alone and Santa Claus and the original Grinch so on and so forth and Wyatt on the other hand um, he's very particular about what he watches and he has a hard time with uh, being introduced to something new so we've been working really hard on that and this year we finally got him to watch Home Alone because we knew he would love it but, you know, uh, he was so resistant for the longest time. Uh, last year, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even give it a whirl. But this year, you know, he, he was a little resistant at first, but then he finally said, oh, okay, because I, I told him, I said, it's really, really funny. you got to watch it and see what happens to the bad guys, you know, because it's all about good guys, bad guys right now. And so he, was, <laughs> he sat down, he watched it, and he absolutely loved it. So that has quickly become his favorite Christmas movie this year. Um, so that's what I journaled about, um, was us getting him to watch Home Alone. And now, he, now he likes number two, and he's like, I want to watch number three, and, you know, and so on and so forth. So it's really cute and really fun. So glad he's able to enjoy some of the, the movies from when I was, my husband and I were younger. It's really fun, um, to get him on board with that. So, anyways... So this is essentially what the layout's going to be. It's going on the back side of story number nine. So I'm going to get the other page. And we're actually going to adhere this down. The design work in total maybe took me about an hour between the two projects. Um, it didn't really take that much time, uh, which was good. But, um, you know, if you're not well versed in Photoshop, it can take a little bit longer, but um, you can also use a software called Canva. Oh goodness, this is a little smaller. Hold on a minute. I made them different sizes. Let's figure this out. We can probably trim Santa down a little bit. Um, so I use, you can use a software called uh, Canva, which is free, and then you can get like a premium version, which uh, gives you a little more 
uh, tools and access to images and stuff that you can use, but um, it's, a, it's a little bit more user friendly, like pre-made templates and stuff. If you don't, you know, if you don't know how to use Photoshop. Oh yeah, we're good. I must have made my Santa photo a little too big. Um, but uh, I majored in graphic design and so I'm quite familiar with Photoshop. I'm by no means an expert, but um, I know a lot of the basics. Um, you know, and if it's something you want to learn, I totally encourage you to do so as well. Um, it's a lot of versatility. It's great for editing photos. Um, and, and, and it's great for the hybrid scrapbooking. I, I you know, I've, I've always been about the, the creation of a layout using all the different embellishments and the pattern papers. Um, and I still really enjoy that, but Doing December Daily this time around has really opened my eyes up to hybrid scrapbooking and different ways to document memories and tell stories. So I've really been enjoying this and I, I'm loving um, bringing in my graphic design experience into scrapbooking. So I, I am going to um, continue on this path with my yearly album for next year, my Wyatt. So for Wyatt, I make him an, a yearly album with just a bunch of stories throughout the year. Um, and so I think I'm gonna try and do hybrid for that this year. And I purchased an eight by 10 or yeah, eight by 10 album from Allie Edwards. Cause I really, the size was very appealing to me. So I'm gonna give it a whirl cause I'm really having a lot of fun. So, but don't worry, I'm still gonna do nine by 12, 12 by 12 albums. I'm gonna dabble in a lot next year. Um, but, uh, just really have been enjoying this process. Okay, so let's get these holes punched. And then we'll do a little bit of embellishing. I'll get the other one together first. All right, oh. Okay, back-to-back -back photos makes it really easy. Okay, so let's get this glued down as well. Just a double-sided tag. I probably have to do a little hand trimming because still some of the outline is on that other tag. And then the back of this tag is going to go with um, story number 11. So, which actually works out perfectly. Okay, well it actually lined up pretty well, but I got some black I want to trim off, so I'm going to see if I can't do it by hand. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Embrace the imperfections. Embrace the crooked lines. <laughs> There we go. Just a little. So I haven't quite mastered printing on both sides on my printer yet, so I'm still working on that. I'm not very tech savvy, so that's a bit of a learning curve for me. So I just printed these out separately and then I um, adhered them together. That was the word. Goodness, I can't, couldn't think there for a moment. And then I have, I'm probably going to have to see if I have a bigger hole punch because I want to tie a ribbon or something through there. So, oh, we need holes too. So let's, so this is going to go like that. All right, so I want to make sure. That I get this right. Perfect. There 
we go. Okay, so just a little bit of embellishing. So I found, so we got to get the number 10 on here. And where are my numbers? All right, so this is story number 10. So I thought it would be fun to put the 10 here. And then I have this rubber right there, 10 Christmas movies. And then I thought maybe a stamp up here would be fun. Um, cause I haven't really done a lot of stamping. So let's see what we've got. If we have anything that's, that could work. So favorite things, so much fun. Tis the season would be good because it's tis the season for Christmas movies, right? So let's see what color. I think I might go black. Keep it simple. Oh, I need an acrylic block here. I don't do enough stamping and I have so many cute stamps. So I definitely want to take an opportunity to do it whenever I can. I think tis the season is tis the season is nice and fitting because um, we don't typically watch Christmas movies the rest of the year. So I think this is perfect. Wonderful. Oh, we're a little crooked, but that's all right. <laughs> that's normal for me. I can never get my stamping quite straight. But we'll get a little piece of some twine or ribbon. I think we'll just do some twine. little red and white. I don't know that I have any actual ribbon. I'm trying to think. I don't have much. I kind of have to figure out where the end to this... Oh, here it is, I think. Where this twine starts. <laughs> How do... Oh, there we go. We could probably wrap it around a couple of times, give it a little bit of, and you know what, I have a cute little wood veneer charm that says 2021, that would probably be a good little bit to add. No, I was just thinking about adding a little a little something extra but you know what I'm looking at that and I'm like it's really bulky so I think I'm gonna pass and just do just do the ribbon I suppose Probably do a couple loops. Okay. 
Well, I'm not the best at bows, but we're going to give it a whirl here. Just make that a little smaller. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Just enough to give a little something at the top and kind of frame that to the season. We have our 10 favorite movies. You know, I'm wondering if I have another little. do. I have a little star. So let's do I love it. Nice and simple. It's fun to get a little stamping in too. Alright, so that side is done. And so for this one it's pretty simple, but I thought it would be fun um, to label, um, I have these little, I don't know if you can tell, they're little planner sticker numbers. Um, and so I thought it would be kind of fun to label the pictures of the movies that we listed. Kind of in, so we all have our individual favorites, but then as a family, you know, we have, I think they go in a slightly different order. So, like Home Alone would be number one. Number two would probably be Elf. Number two there. Number three would be The Grinch. And number four would be Christmas Vacation. There. Just a little fun added identifier. Just something tiny. Okay. And that is story number 10, documenting Christmas movies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this process. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video for story number 11. Happy scrubbing. Bye.